studying or looking into genetics is literally just like looking into how badly Rosalind Franklin was treated when she literally discovered DNA. Rosalind Franklin was treated so badly because she was a woman in science that even though she was like at the top of her game and got into like a really like insanely important study, she was still banned from like male science only rooms. Like she was not allowed in. The guy that she was working with, like, to study DNA, like, referred to her as a dog. Her colleague, like, would refer to her as a dog and say that she was barking and, like, just, like, really horrific stuff. They obviously also had, like, the drinking culture and going to pubs. It was England, so, <laughs> um, the men would just, like, go out, drink, or, like, go on these nights out, and she would just not be allowed. Not that she wanted to be a part of that culture anyway, but you can kind of, like, get the vibe of how they viewed women. But it's the theft of her science that's, like, the worst thing ever. Rosalind Franklin was the first person to get a really, really good image of DNA where you could start to work out the structure of the DNA pattern, which we didn't know yet. France and Kirk, who got the Nobel Prize for the discovery of DNA, went into her drawers, took the image out. She got a really, really famous image of DNA. They went in there while she wasn't there, stole it, sketched it and left with it. She did not give them consent to do this and it's very highly unlikely that she would have. One of them also attended one of her lectures where she was talking about the structure of DNA and how important the research that they'd like just done was. And the only thing that he mentioned about the entire lecture was she may have looked different if she let her hair down. And I wondered if she would have looked prettier if she would have taken her glasses off. Like this woman was literally discovering DNA and she couldn't be seen as anything other than, you know. But the absolute final straw when it comes to Rosalind Franklin is there was like a man who was checking through like all the science reports. And so he took Rosalind Franklin's work literally all the years of work that she'd done on DNA and handed it to Kirk and Watson. Needless to say, you shouldn't be handing other scientists their competitors' work at all. Really weirdly, a couple of days after they'd been handed all of her work, without her consent, Kirk and Val discovered the structure of DNA, completely randomly, a couple of days after being handed someone else's entire lab work and stealing her images. What's crazy is that these guys then went on to get the Nobel Prize for their discovery and she was not even mentioned. She got no Nobel Prize for anything. And what makes this even more tragic is that Rosalind Franklin then died in her early, early 30s of a cancer that was caused by a genetic disposition. She was literally treated horrifically for being a woman the entire time she was studying, then got robbed of her discovery and then died without any credits.